I am pumped. It's here. I'm probably more excited than I should be. The 2020 Polaris Razor Pro XP. See, now we're putting things in front of the XP. Doesn't matter. Point is, it's here. And before we go any further, let me just say, before we go any further, I think we can all agree this thing is sexy as <laughs> Did you just bleep that? Like, why did you bleep that? I said crap, dude. Crap. Whatever. You know what? I'm too excited for your shenanigans. I don't even care. Roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome to another video, an exciting video, by the way. And if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Chris with Navigate Off-Road, where we're really, we're just here to help you explore the unpaved with off-road news, destinations, and reviews. So today we are talking about the 2020 Polaris Razor Pro XP, and I'm super excited. Let's just go ahead, let's get into it, and let's start by taking a look at the design of this thing. To me, this is one of the most impressive features of the new Razer Pro XP. I mean like bottom lip biting sexy, you know, just mm, that was that was weird. Don't put that in the video. Don't put that in. So some big things that stood out to me, as you can see, is the LED accent lights. Beautiful. Great job designing those Polaris. They've redesigned the doors. I think those look really good too. And then the back. Now, two things about the back. One, kind of looks like they stole it from Honda. Like it looks a lot like a talon i'm just saying it looks a lot like a talon but it does look like you could fit a lot more back there than you could in previous razors so again huge plus to that so continuing with the design check out the cockpit in this thing i mean it is unbelievable just absolutely beautiful probably the most gorgeous inside of a side-by-side -side i've ever seen like i feel pretty confident saying that and this isn't biased okay i'm not like pro razor over can am or anybody else but this is fantastic this is nicer than the inside of my truck it's got a seven inch touchscreen display now that's going to depend on which model you get and we'll get into those more in a minute but obviously you got to buy the higher end model to get the touch screen included it's got a steering wheel that doesn't only have tilt but telescoping capabilities and speaking of adjustments the seats the seats also go back and forth just like they have in other models but they have 50 percent more forward to back motion and they've added a three position tilt control so you can actually lean the seat forward and backwards. I don't, I think that's the first time that's ever been on a side-by-side. -side. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think it is. And speaking of the seats, these things look phenomenal. Once again, they actually look like seats that you're not instantly gonna wanna replace. And again, depending on the model you get, you actually are gonna get six point harnesses included. And they, again, look like fantastic harnesses. I mean, those are both things that when you get a new side-by-side, -side, you often think about replacing is I want better seats. I want safer and better seat belts. You're getting both of those options included, again, depending on the model. Now, moving on from there, a couple other things to note. This comes with a Rockford Fosgate sound system. The thing that to notice on this is it's not like there's these giant speakers out around the machine or on the bars. I mean, it looks very much built into the machine. Like, it was all designed together. And there's actually a 10-inch subwoofer also hidden in the cockpit of this machine, which is pretty awesome. Another thing that I absolutely love about the inside of this thing is the storage. There's storage all over the place. There's storage in the passenger side dash. There's storage between the seats, almost like a vehicle in the center council. And then there's some more storage up in the center on the dash. So I mean, it's just, there's lots of storage. It just, to me, things like that show that they put in the time to actually go, what? These, what? These goats are going crazy. I hope this doesn't come through the microphone as loud as they are. But the point I'm getting at is, it, it just, to me, it seems like Polaris actually put in the extra time and really thought the cockpit and the inside of this machine out, which says a lot, right? Like all the extra storage, people love that. It just, it all seems a little bit more premium on the inside. I mean, almost too nice for a side-by-side, -side, if that's a thing. All right, so let's talk about the engine real quick because that's probably what you've been waiting for. Surprisingly, Polaris had very little to say about the engine on the Pro XP. I mean, I kept waiting for like this, you know, huge grand gesture, just grand. And here it is, the engine you've been waiting for. But none of that ever, none of that ever came. It just, it was kind of like, here it is. It's got 181 horsepower. 
you're welcome. And that's kind of what it was. So it was it was rather underwhelming. Now, with that being said, it has 181 horsepower. So it's got it's got a lot of horsepower, right? Now, I know it doesn't have as much as the new Can-Am Maverick RRs, but it's got 181 horsepower. And again, it's not all just about the horsepower. Not to say that one's better than the other. Now, it does pretty much have the same engine that's already in the Turbo S, minus the fact that they tuned it differently and it's got 13 extra horsepower so that does lead to the question though does this does this kill the turbo s to me it it kind of does it seems better than the turbo s and it's got more horsepower and i should also mention too with the tuning this has been tuned for that sweet spot to be between 20 and 50 miles an hour which i i think was awesome i think that was a really good move because that's where people spend a lot of their time right most people are not gonna spend most of their time at 60, 70 miles an hour. A lot of it's gonna be on that lower 20 miles an hour to that 50 mile per hour. I would even say 50 in a lot of cases is, is really at the top end of that normal user area, right? Because a lot of times it's that 20 to 45 or somewhere in there. Now I know there's gonna be that person that's like, I go 60, 70 miles an hour all the time. Congratulations, we should go for a ride sometime. I bet you're fun to ride with, but that's just not where most people fall most of the time. So I think that was a great move on Polaris's part. All right, so let's talk about where the rubber meets the gravel or rock or dirt or water or sand, wherever you happen to ride. This thing is running Maxxis Carnivore 30 inch tires. Now, I know absolutely nothing about Carnivore tires. They look cool. That's about all I could tell you. In fact, if you've used Carnivore tires, uh, leave, a, leave a note, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on them. I, I really have no opinion on them one way or another. I can tell you that these tires and the suspension are giving it 14.5 inches of ground clearance and 22 inches of usable travel. So that's pretty awesome and about, again, what you're gonna get with the Turbo S. All right, when it comes to the suspension, you got two options. You can either get Walker Evans shocks, that's gonna be on your, your lower end models, if you wanna call a $23,000 machine lower end, or if you go to the higher end model, you can get Dynamics 2.0. Now, according to Polaris, Dynamics 2.0 is better in every way. Sounds pretty salesy to me. Apparently it's faster at data processing, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure it's awesome, I just haven't been in it, and when you say things like that to me, it sounds kinda salesy. Now I will say, however, that they claim it's much better at sensing when you're going into a corner, and it's gonna stiffen those outside shocks and soften those inside shocks to really help you through the corner. And I've, I've heard through the grapevine, because of that feature and the Dynamics 2.0 system, this actually handles better than a 72 inch wide machine, which just made me realize, I never actually said it, but this is a 64 inch wide machine. So according to Dynamics 2.0, it handles just as good as a 72 inch wide machine, which if that's true is an outstanding ability because there's a lot of people that love the width of a 72 inch machine that just can't have it. In fact, I'm shooting this video right now outside where we don't normally shoot videos, but it's like, the perfect day out it's like 75 degrees no humidity nothing to do with the video <laughs> my point is here in the state of wisconsin for example you cannot legally have a 72 inch side by side nor minnesota no I, the whole midwest i believe at least most of the midwest you can't even have a 72 inch machine so where it's great out in california in the dunes there's a lot of states where that's not an option so the fact that Polaris has given us a 64 inch machine with the capabilities of a 72 inch wide machine, like that's phenomenal, phenomenal. That's outstanding. Now, lastly on the shocks, we gotta go back to the steering wheel, which by the way, they have added a ton of features onto volume control, different, that's what I mean, man. It's like, it's better than my truck. It's got more options than my truck. Maybe I, it's cause I don't have a brand new truck. Like, I don't know, it's maybe my truck's a piece of crap, but again, just, what I'm getting at, it's got this red oh crap button. Now, Polaris has marketed it as something else, but I'm gonna call it an oh crap button because this is a family channel, this is a family channel. Just saying Polaris, family channel. But what this red button does is it's going to bring the shocks to their maximum stiffness instantly, just by pressing this button. That's a super cool feature. Never seen that on another side-by-side -side before. 
think it's pretty awesome. Now, a couple other things that I think are definitely noteworthy before we get to the price. And number one, this has a fully reinforced chassis. They claim this is the strongest chassis ever. In fact, there are zero bolts on the entire chassis. Apparently it is all welded and they've also reinforced the drivetrain. I don't know exactly what that means. Again, I haven't been in it yet, but apparently they have reinforced the crap out of the drivetrain. So that's pretty awesome. Now Polaris has also added a new primary clutch that they claim, they claim will double your belt life. Like, I hope that's true. I guess time will tell, but if so, that's pretty awesome. And finally, and I have no freaking idea why I'm bringing this up because I have zero idea what it means, but Polaris has added a new self-purging cooling system. No idea what that means. Just full disclosure, no idea. If you know, leave a comment down below and let me know because Polaris talks about it a lot, but I have yet to actually get to the bottom of the science or whatever that's involved there. All right, here we go. For a very low, low, low price of $22,999, you can be a very proud owner of a Polaris Razor Pro XP, lower end model, which is still awesome, by the way. I just gotta throw that out there. It's still an awesome machine. It's gonna have the Walker Evans shocks. It's not gonna have the six point seatbelt harnesses. It's not gonna have the seven inch touchscreen, but it's still gonna have 181 horsepower. It's still gonna have the awesome seats. So, you know, I joke about it being the low end model for $23,000, but you are still getting a sick machine. Now, moving up from there though, if that just isn't gonna cut it for you, that's not, not good enough. You need more, you demand more from your side by side. You move up to the Polaris Razor Pro XP Premium Edition. And for that, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more, just a little, at $24,499. Now, that's gonna give you the premium paint, okay, like that's not gonna get scratched the first time you take it out. <laughs> the, the LED accent lights, that's pretty awesome. The six point harnesses and then the telescoping steering wheel. So again, price jump up a little bit. Who gives a crap about the paint job? Like if you do, I don't, we're all different, good for you I guess. But the accent lighting, again, that's cool. Not enough to make me spend that much extra money. I do like the telescoping steering wheel, like that, that's awesome. I'm not exactly like 10 feet tall, so the ability to pull that puppy in a little closer, I absolutely love. I do also love these six point harnesses. I mean, they look fantastic. And now I'm not gonna have to spend any money to get those added because I am a fan of, you know, four to six point seatbelt harnesses. Is it worth it for the money? I don't know, maybe. It's hard to say right off the bat without, you know, seeing it. But, uh, you know, that's where we're at. Now, if you're in it to win it, you want the beast of them all, which is the Polaris Razor Pro XP Ultimate, you're gonna be spending $28,499. Now that's gonna give you everything else we've talked about and the Dynamics 2.0 shocks, which that's the big mamma jamma, right? Like that's, that's really where a lot of that money's going is that Dynamics 2.0 shocks. And you're gonna get that seven inch touch screen with that as well, so your ride command and all that. And the Rockford Fosgate audio system, which Again, like built-in subwoofer. The whole thing is just built-in. Like it's all just, it seems like it's built into the machine really good. I've heard it sounds fantastic. I wish I actually knew if that was true. So that's where we're at for price. Anywhere from $23,000 all the way up to $28,500. I'm excited. Are you excited? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I've heard that people are somewhat underwhelmed by this. And I personally, I think this is probably the best Razor ever. All right, now I think it basically kills the Turbo S. It, it seems like a fantastic machine. If you've ever looked at a Razor, I mean, it just seems like a fantastic machine. So that's all I got. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something from it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I hope to see you on the trail. <coughs> too weird? Is that too weird? That's too weird. Edit that out. Uh, Deer, there's a deer over there. There's a lot of noise here. My goat, like we have goats over here that are going just absolutely ape crap goat crazy right now <laughs> by the way i hope this video is helpful hope hope you got what you wanted out of it subscribe if you haven't already and the video shut off on me <laughs>